Yeah, you guessed it. This episode is purely dedicated to an innovative shipbuilding company called Duratech. Founded by two European dudes, these guys crank out handcrafted beauties that us plebs can only dream of making. Oh yeah, join their Discord which is linked below. This video is kinda long so I'll go ahead and index the video for you right here. Pick which ship you want to see or just let it play out. You want to go ahead and tell me a little bit about the ship, uh, how long it took you to make it, what's the purpose of it, and all that? So this is, um, in fact, our first concept ever created in October 2019, the Heretha, and it's a grand freighter slash carrier. So it's meant to, uh, to be used for cargo crates or asteroids or even fighters and other stuff. Okay. Do you guys want to show me some cool features of the ship here? Sure. So we can start with the entry on the back. I come down. Sure. Okay. So this um, symbol, this logo, is um, the logo of our faction Duratech. Sweet, okay. The whole spine is stuffed up with um, propulsion tanks. I see that, okay. You could put large one into it, but um, then it's not you know, not more possible to crouch into it. So the idea is that uh, it's easy to do repairs. Okay. Is there something at, at the front that I can look at, or is it just all that? No, uh, it's, it's just the brake thrusters. Okay. Okay, I'll turn around. Just for flying the Aretha, there are... Uh, six, ge uh, six generators and uh, 12 fuel chamber chambers and for the cargo logs when you're uh, logging some asteroids or um, little uh, little fighters there are 24 generators with 42 fuel chambers damn that's so many wow okay so you can carry around uh, 666 uh, or crates with that. Okay. Flight time uh, full loaded would be uh, just with the generators about four hours and with the propellant five and a half hours. Wow. When it's full lo uh, loaded. Huh. So the, right now so... we have uh, 24 box thrusters and uh, 52 triangle thrusters. Okay. So I'm I'm pretty sure that the um, thruster ring for the for the next version will be yeah double double the size. Wow. To compensate with that. That means more generators and more propulsion tanks. Oh yeah, never enough. I'll go ahead and hop in the seat here. I guess and I'll press, press the button. button. And welcome in your control command center. <sighs> This feels powerful. Oh my god. What do we have here? Okay, so we have all the uh, propellant tanks, correct? And battery power in that far corner. Yes, right now in the moment there's a YOLO script, which just uh, go from one propellant tank to another. Okay. So you just have to change one or two, not the whole, the, uh, the whole containers. Super smart, okay. On the left side, you have um, all the different uh, locked cells of the Heretha. So you could just um, choose whether you want to go upper left or down right, and in what in which high of the Heretha you want to lock something. Or on the very left side, on the top, the upper bottom, you can yeah. just uh, activate everything or deactivate everything. Can I go ahead and try it? See if it yeah, works. You can try it, but hopefully but you, you can see it. it. Have to yes, hold you it. have to hold it. Yeah. And now they're on. Yeah, but there's no like big lasers coming out. This is a um track. I think only only Abranium can see the. Yes, the I can see them. Okay. So I, I'll turn them off now. Yeah. 
Wow. Yes. Super cool. Okay. So, so at, the front, mm -hmm. in the, uh, at the front, um, upper left, you have a slow mode just for piloting inside the asteroid belt. Down the slow mode, you have a, a landing script. The cargo light is ju uh, just the lights on the, on the urethra. Down the cargo light, you have the light on the cockpit. Yes, then next to the cargo light, there's just a button for the range finders uh, and at the downside that you can have a feeling about um, how much distance is between the urethra and the floor. Okay. Uh, down the range finders, it's the button for the um, brake thrusters. Right up, there's a travel button. It's um, toggle your speed to 80% that the generators will give the um, optimal uh, amount of electricity to the system and down the travel button you have the button for the flag generator so you can turn on or turn off just the generators which are dedicated for the box and uh, triangle thrusters just for flying and the button down the flight generator there's the button to turn the uh, generators for the uh, cargo locks how much does this ship cost 14 million at the moment. Okay. With nice. foreign prizes. Okay. Okay, and that's uh, I think that's all. All right. The Urethra for now. There she is. Uh, carrier or station, you, yeah, carrier or station operated fighter. The Hildur. Okay, so um, this is a ship meant to be cheap, small, fast, and nimble. Um, it doesn't go completely uh, on 150 meters per second, but I think it's uh, somewhere between 135. Five and 145 meters per second. Um, it's designed to house auto cannons or laser cannons. Uh, I think plasma would be possible, but it's meant for auto cannons and laser cannons. You can switch them up. You can have four uh, up, also um, eight uh, lasers or eight auto cannons, or mix them. The cockpit button is uh, centered. The downmost button. Oh yeah. Okay, I see that. We'll close the cockpit and also bring the two shields into position and um, despite there's just seven batteries and one single generator with one um, with one fuel rod okay we didn't have some, uh, major problems when fighting you just can't press the fire button um, and go on and go on um, then the uh, batteries are very uh, are empty very fast but if you are um, able to, to time your shots and um, save the energy when possible, um, you, we, are, we never run out of energy. It was, it was a very capable fighter for its size, the battle test. There are also many, um, many, what is this, many hedges for maintain maintenance yeah um, you can reach the the uh, propulsion tank on the one side the fuel rod on the other side on top of that the three cooling cells and also uh, switch the the uh, guns with the other hatches wow. so every every boat is reachable there there are no problems in changing something the, the shields are there to protect the most exposable, ex the most explosive parts better, so the um, fuel rod and the the propulsion tank. This wow. should be four to five layers of armor in this small fighter. Super cool. All right, cool. Um, how much did it cost you coming out of ship editor? Uh, at the moment, um, between. Two million and two and a half million. Yeah, I think. Yeah. All right, not bad, not bad. All right, 
So uh, tell me a little bit about this guy you have here. So this is our Grand Miner, the Hanar, named after a dwarf from Norse mythology, uh, which means, the name means the artisan, the skillful one, the skillful one. And it's um, a miner to, um, to bring back the fun into mining. So everything which can be conveniently automated is automated and you have some really cool features. The Hanar has around 130 orc crates. 130? Okay. okay. The Hanar has the collective um, Hisen system on board. Yeah, With gotcha. With uh, just one transmitter or emitter. Awesome. We have uh, 76 triangle thrusters. Yeah. <sighs> Wow, and two, in in this in this um, variation, uh, two large propellant tanks and two generators with six fuel chambers. Yeah, so this and a few can... and few enhancers. Yeah, this guy can go for up to two and a half hours with his tanks and up to fifteen hours uh, with the fuel rods. Goes um, up to up to hundred and twenty or hundred and twenty five meters per second unloaded unloaded with unloaded yeah unloaded and um, for the size i think that's also a pretty pretty decent speed so you don't have to to wait too long before you can go and mine some asteroids all right cool you want to have a look inside yeah let's do it let's open the door welcome to the hana look at this Right here at, at the at the back side, you have a little bit space for placing tools, yeah. while the mining backpack hasn't so much slots for yeah. putting cable or uh, the cable tool, bolt tool, bus saw or everything else. So here or, you, have, maybe you, you have space. Maybe a weapon. To maybe a weapon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you um, there's a door too to the engine room. Uh oh, you can I press it? it? Here we go. Feel free to open it. Just go a little bit back. Oh, look at this. So here you can see the, the, the generators. Two of them with three and three fuel chambers. There's a, a YOLO script. Yeah, which yeah, saves the half up. So yeah. first, the, the 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 left side of fuel rods is activated, and when they are empty, the second three will activate. And you got a warning on the on the warning display in the in the uh, piloting seat that you have to change uh, the fuel rods A or the fuel rods B. Here you have a, a small cargo lock frame, too. Okay. The upper button is for um, an assistant that helps you to get near to an asteroid without crashing it. And the uh, lower button is inspired by um, asteroid avoid system, so you can just press it. Okay. And now you can't see, oh, you can't see the, the I, rangefinder. I do right? see the rangefinders. Ah, uh, beautiful. I can see them too. I can see them too. Um, uh, the finder button. You can activate that and with the finder you just have to point at the asteroid of your wish and the Hanar uh, by herself just nears to the asteroid you have to point to the to the closest point of the asteroid and then it automatically breaks and you're just a few meters away from the sweet or nuggets of the asteroid. Abranium has to step out of the seat, go to the back, open the door, and mine the asteroid. No, there's a faster way. Yes, because we have a hatch below the pilot seat, and you just lower. <laughs> go out. That's perfect. Attach. And let's go. Go for the sweet ore. Wow. 
for the moment, because we don't have the mining laser, I attached uh, two plasmas, plasma cannon uh, to the op uh, optional half points, which are on the Hanar. So you just can break up a little bit the shell. That scared the shit out of me, but holy fuck, that's handy. Okay. Nice. We will begin at the right side. Very right upper side. Okay. Here you have your navigation system. It's uh, the uh, the Ison from from uh, Collective, and at the front right side, you have your actual position powered by Ison and your target where you want to go. Yeah. Uh, up up left side here. Okay. You have all the informations about your engines. Then you have the controls for the right and the left door. You can open and close them uh, from the pilot seat. Okay. Right now they uh, both are open. And when they are open, you have on the info screen at the front, the upper, there yep. uh, you can see the informations, whether the, the doors, uh, doors are open, whether your engine is off or on. Mm -hmm. Um, or some uh, critical critical informations will will display at the at the warning display down below when your fuel rods or your um, your propellant tank or the batteries are almost low, then you have it at the at the warning display. Yeah. So you we were... you aren't surprised when you when something is is empty. And okay. there are also um, two little displays to uh, display some information about the vessel and the pilot. Yes, we have that in all of our um, uh, concepts and designs. So you just can have a personal relation to your ship and just and don't massive buy it. You can uh, text there your faction, your uh, your in-game name, and there are some credits who designed the ship. And also, the Hanar has a landing protocol which you can. Uh, turn on or off, and it will mm. land on the on the flat underground. Well, now we are in space; it won't work. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe in, in two hundred years there will we'll be a land planet down down yeah. there. But it's right here. Yes, it's mm -hmm. preparated that you just can add the mining laser on it. Okay. The Yolo chip, you can see, you can pull it down, and then you have. Um, um, a list starting with the upper right YOLO chip, which chip is um, coded with one with which program. Yep, that's our that's grand miner, the Hanar. And this episode is sponsored by Duratech, which is basically all the ships that you've seen in this video. You want to go ahead and tell me a little bit about the company you have, Duratech? Yeah, sure. Um, Duratech is a small but exquisite faction, which was formed by two really enthusiastic guys from Germany way back in October 2019. Um, we are currently a design studio consisting of four passionate craftsmen and had the honor to get two alpha keys on the first invite wave. Our goal is to achieve perfect unity between form and function. We published a good amount of ship concepts before the Alpha using 3D design software, namely 3ds Max and also Blender, and that helped a lot to get things going. Um, we are eager to produce many exciting ship designs in the future and are grateful for every feedback from this awesome community. Thank you all for your interest in Starbase. Let's make this game great and full of possibilities. And a huge thanks to Frozen Byte. You are really awesome developers. All right, cool. Well, thank you guys so much for doing this. Um, thank you so much for this episode. And uh, I'll go ahead and link your guys' Discord in the description below. Um, so if they have any questions, they can come into your Discord perhaps and say hi. Yeah, sure. All right, sounds good. Thanks, guys. Okay, thanks. Yes, thanks.